So in order to remove the instrument cluster on an E39, you're going to need three tools. One, you're going to need some sort of fork tool. A uh, flathead screwdriver would also work. This is to remove the trim on the left and right side of the steering wheel. You'll need a uh, T10 Torx bit driver. And you'll need a generic Phillips head driver as well. So the first step in, in doing this is to lower the steering wheel down as far as it will go and all the way back up as far as it will go. There you go. And then we want to remove the trim on the left and the right. What we're going to do is carefully find the gap between the vinyl and the wood and gently work, work it out. And this one came out real nice and easy. Sometimes you do have to fight them. And we'll set that aside, and then we'll try to move over to the right side. And pop that one out the same way. This one on the older fives have a sensor located in them. You can just unplug that from behind. And as you'll notice on this particular car, there are Phillips head screws. There's going to be three of them. You see that there's one tab semi-intact over here and that the tabs on the left have been broken off. So in this situation, you don't need to remove the Phillips heads, but you will notice that if your tabs are still intact, which will come down vertical, you will need to remove the actual Phillips head uh, screws. So because of that, we can move on to the Torx bolts, or screws, I should say. And there's going to be three, uh, top center, and then left and right. So I just start on the left one here. And we'll go ahead and pull these out one at a time so you can see exactly where and how I'm doing it. And I'll set the screws. I just set the screws typically in the shifter boot. That just seems to be the easiest place to put them. But not likely to slide or go anywhere. Okay, now that that's out, you can grab your flathead driver and you can gently pry it from the top. And then you just want to work your, work your way down and you can just kind of go towards you with the prying action. This is pretty flexible. And you see it will pop and dislocate from the guide pins on the side. Um, here you go. This guy's there. All right. So now we have the connectors here and connectors on the for the switch and for the fog light switch. Uh, on these, you can just remove them, pull back. You can, they will all just pull back. And that, you will sometimes get the lights on. If you want the, leave the backlighting off, you can actually simply just plug back in the main switch. And if, it'll, if there's enough harness room, you can just simply fold it up and over on the dashboard. Um, back to the T10 Torx, there's going to be two more holding the cluster in, a left and a right on the top. We'll get those off. Okay. Um, and at this point, you don't really need to pry unless it's really stuck in there. But you see how loose this one, this particular car is. Um, on the back, if we can get a look at that, there's going to be connectors. And on these connectors, you're going. There's going to be a slide guide, and you want to push in just in front of it so that this the release, so that you can slide the uh, clip down, and that will then pull out once that's all the way down. And you'll basically do that for all three push down behind it, slide the release down. You can pull out and there's going to be a black, a white, and a blue connector on these. And then, then you have your cluster completely removed. Now reinstallation is going to be just the reverse of this procedure. And um, that's it for now.